Welcome to Business Management and Research Channel. Here is Dr. Sandhu and today's topic is Retail Mechanism. How does it operate? Retailing is a method of selling goods in smaller quantities to consumers for their final use. Depending on their needs and capabilities, the retailer sells products to end users either as single units or in small quantities. Here are the contents of retail mechanism. How does it operate? Number one, we will talk about counter service, then delivery service, then comes door to door sales, self service, and finally, second hand retail. Now, what is counter service in retail mechanism? Counter service, as the name implies, is the act of obtaining goods from the counter. The customer cannot pick up items on his own and does not have easy access to the store's inventory. In such a system, the customer must approach the counter and state his needs. Here comes the example, jeweler's shop. Can you independently enter a jewelry store and purchase item? No. You are unable to touch the items or you can purchase directly like in the stores. To choose an item that suits your taste and budget, you must request the same person to show you the sample to show you different designs for selection. Then chemical store or chemist shop. Customer cannot just stroll into the chemist shop and pick up medications. To purchase medicines from the retailer, one must approach the counter and present their doctor's prescription. Number two, delivery service in retail mechanism. Deli Service refers to the process of getting goods to customers' doorsteps. The final consumer doesn't have to go to the store to buy his goods. Instead, the items are sent straight to his home via a variety of modes of transportation. For people with extremely busy lives who lack the time to walk up to the store, delivery services are ideal. Number one, online shopping. Internet has made it easier for consumers to only shop from their homes. Customers who order their desired goods online have a wide range of options thanks to websites like Amazon, eBay and others. Once the purchase has been made using a debit or credit card, the goods are delivered to the requested address by the customer. The customer, however, is responsible for paying the transportation cost. Number two, ordering over the phone. Many restaurants and eating establishments now offer the option to order food while seated at home. The restaurants upload their entire menu to the website, giving website visitors a variety of choices. It is simple to place an order over the food and the food is quickly delivered to the customer stores. The good example of delivery service is McDonald's, KFC, Subway, etc. Number three, door-to-door -door sales in retail mechanism. Door-to-door -door sales involves the salesperson going from house to house and encouraging the customers to purchase the product. He attempts to persuade the person to purchase the goods by providing a demo of his product. Number four, self-service in retail mechanism. In self-service, customers are free to choose their own items and assist themselves. Number five, second-hand retail in retail mechanism. In second-hand retail shops, the retailer sells second-hand goods to the end-user. Such shops generally run for charity 
where people donate their huge merchandise to be resold to the poor and needy free of cost. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And I will appreciate if you can comment on the video. Best of luck.